Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for D Style Optimus Prime, and this is made by Kotobu Kia. And I'm really excited for this kit. And the box art's amazing, really cool. <laughs> I'm a big fan of D Style. They basically bring the super deformed version of other mechs other than Gundams, which Bandai already makes. So here we go. We get a quick look at the what we have inside. Pretty awesome. Here's the unpainted version. It does require quite a bit of a pan lining, but you know, other than that, um, so far it looks um, it looks great with the panel separation. This retails about three thousand yen, roughly translated to thirty dollars. Now that could be a delimiting factor for a lot of people. Thirty dollars for a like a chibi or super deformed kit could be pricey for some, especially when Bandai can make uh, is producing them for like ten to twenty dollars. So that, that's the limiting factor to that. But for me, I really like the D-Style line. Yep. All right, let's take a look inside. We got the illustrated booklet here. And just quickly go over it. We got all the details and how to assemble Optimus Prime here. Yep. And on the back, a paint guide. And um, yeah, there's actually quite a bit of paint involved just to make it more accurate. Uh, but you know other than that it's given to you. It's an option if you want to do so. There we go That's for the illustration booklet All right, so for the kit itself, it's actually quite simple very easy to build <laughs> and Yeah, I mean for most uh, D style they're actually their build is a uh, very straightforward you know, very easy to do, but sometimes the, the engineering that went into it, uh, it's actually quite surprising uh, for something uh, this small scale. I do like the details. Yeah, he has the exhaust here, and uh, they kind of just, uh, <laughs> it's a core of it. Uh, it's called compensate for the design, even on this one here. Oh, really cool. At, uh, at first, I had a, a bit of a problem with the faceplate. I find it too big, but after construction, it's not too bad. Uh, it does have the gimmick when you can move that uh, faceplate when you wiggle this. <laughs> As if he's, he's talking. We got the neck articulation here. It's uh, in a bull joint. There we go. We got the waist. It's one of those uh, pegs that has a little bit of a, has a lock on it. So once you put it on, it stays there, which is good. Then uh, you have the elbow here, which uh, you can uh, have him uh, move up, well, up, up that high. Then you can uh, rotate it to the ball joint right there. Elbow, you get a 90 degree bend. You get the ball joint, the wrist. There we go. Then uh, let's move on here. You have the legs here. Uh, there is an option. You can actually uh, push this down, and uh, this gives you a little bit more uh, leg room, so he can sit down or uh, do some uh, crazy running poses. <laughs> or yeah, you can even kneel down. Quite surprisingly. And what else we got? Uh, he can kind of do a kick. Then you have the feet here. Uh, not much articulation here. It just lets you just uh, do the wide stand pose. There's a bull joint right there. So if you can get it out. Well, you kind of see it. Just depending on how far you want to stretch out the peg. There we go. And I think that's about it uh, for this. Other than uh, there's an, a peg connection there for the stand. And also, if there's a, the matrix right here. Now the matrix is not painted. There's an option to do that. And let me see if I can get this thing out. There we go. Uh, this windshield is connected on the peg system right here. And the, the hinge is on the, the clear plastics. So uh, be careful on that one. Get this thing back there. Yeah, just be careful because again it's on a, the clear plastic then you have the matrix here it does require a bit of painting to make it look like the box art oh yeah it's a small piece 
Uh, be careful though when you're putting the clear blue plastic. <laughs> I was putting it on, it slipped my fingers and it just started bouncing around on the floor. Good thing I found it. Yeah, it's a really cool gimmick. Um, he does have a clear eyes and it would be cool if he has some LED gimmick. But uh, you know, we don't have that. But I think there might be enough space in there to install an LED. Yep. And uh, it might be good to paint silver on, on the back side of that uh, eyes. I might do that uh, eventually. Since I'm not going to be doing the LED. Alright, so other than that, we have uh, another spare hand. Just this one. Kind of like the box art. And it's only for the right. Kind of wish they do one also for the left. Or they give you more variety for the hands. But uh, here we go. It's pointing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Uh, we do have his uh, signature uh, rifle or uh, blaster. There we go. And uh, this is requires painting. Uh, it's supposed to be black, but the, with the limitation of uh, the colors of the runners, they just chose uh, you know the gray piece. This, actually, there's a white. Uh, the thing here is gray. His faceplate is gray. So they they don't really have a black uh, plate. So it's not too bad actually. Even if you don't have to paint it, just add a power line to it. It's not bad. And uh, what else we got here? We also have this one here. Now, my problem with this one, it says it's interchangeable, but my problem with that, the, uh, the poly cap here, it tends to be too loose. The peg on this one, this effect part actually, it, it detaches. This one is... Uh, it's a little bigger so once you put this on there you put back the hand it's gonna be too loose so for this one I'm gonna end up uh, mo uh, modifying this and I'm not sure if I can there we go basically what I want to do is uh, maybe install some mag magnets in this one excuse me I'm trying to cough <laughs> something in my throat I need some water there we go. So maybe I need to install some magnets here so I can detach this easily. But uh, we'll see. So I'm just going to detach this one, put this on. It's actually not too bad to remove this. There we go. And they do have a spare poly uh, poly caps for the wrist joint. This one right here, you get two spare ones. So that's great. If, if you get a loose one, you can just uh, swap it out. And there you go. At the axe, the bell axe, really nice. Other than that, um, the last accessory is the truck. Yes, unfortunately, the truck is colored this way. You just get the two pieces the red and the gray. You gotta paint the underside blue, uh, and a lot more detail. Paint the wheels black. And unfortunately, I've seen D style transform. Uh, and do part swappings. I had the uh, Choryujin from Gaugaigar. That is amazing. They're able to do that. As well as the King X Kaiser, which I still have to review. They do some awesome transformation. I was wondering how come they didn't do this with uh, Optimus Prime. They could have done that. It would be an awesome part uh, forming. Um, I, I do have the third party uh, Optimus Prime, and that, that, that one does transform. And uh, yeah, I have yet to build that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll do a comparison uh, later on. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, there's also an option uh, to put this on the top here. There we go. All right, I think that's about it. Oh, almost forgot. There's one more thing. We got stickers here, and uh, surprisingly, Kutsubukiya added this since Koto always just have good part separation. Already give you the paint guide. So, good surprising they, add you, uh, they added the Insignia for the Autobots, which kind of makes sense. It's kind of hard to emulate that. <laughs> On top of that, I end up uh, detailing my Optimus Prime painted uh, matrix. Uh, just added gold onto it. I uh, added some panel lines. And that's about it. I tried painting the backside of the eye. It didn't do anything. <laughs> I guess the 
clear plastic is just thick enough it's not close enough to have a reflection so unfortunately can we don't see much I could just paint on top of that with something metallic again I had just panel lines otherwise um, I also painted a truck right here there we go I got to change the brightness yep uh, very simple um, again from before it's just red and this gray part added a uh, white I painted a uh, light blue and the regular blue or navy blue underneath and paint uh, wheels black yeah very simple paint job I still need to clean it a little bit you can see a bit of the panel line a little smudges here and there and gotta apply the stickers and that concludes the review for these the Optimus Prime I have to say uh, this is a fun kit to build and it does require a little bit of panel lining and added some paint especially for the truck mode yep <laughs> Uh, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.